Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Boxiest, and today we're going to continue the What If series. What if events had gone differently? And in this What If, we're going to change the history of Cobra Kai. What if Young Chosen was in Cobra Kai Part 3? If you haven't seen the previous two parts, I would recommend you go watch them before continuing this one. So in this timeline, Johnny would go visit Chosen at his house. Johnny would say that he made a mistake by letting him leave Cobra Kai, and he would want to ask him to come back. But Chosen would say that he's found this place in Miyaido, and he would thank Johnny for everything that he's done for him. So Chosen would decide to stay in Miyaido in this timeline, and the events of Cobra Kai would carry on. Hawk and a couple other students would still trash the Miyaido Dojo in this timeline, and the next day, Danny would still find the Miyaido Dojo trashed, so he would still confront Johnny, and much like in the original timeline, many students would leave Cobra Kai and join Miyaido. Moon's party would still happen in this timeline, and those events would stay the same. The school fight would still happen, and Tori would fight Sam. Robbie would still want to stop the fight, but Miguel would still see this, and he would attack Robbie. Those events would stay the same. The rest of the school would still break out in a fight. Chosen would see the fight between Robbie and Miguel, and he would want to stop it, so Chosen would get between them. Miguel would still see Chosen as a traitor, and he would want to fight him, but Chosen would use a combination of offense and defense, and with the help of Robbie, they would take Miguel down. So Robbie wouldn't kick Miguel off the balcony in this timeline. Robbie would want to stop the fight between Sam and Tori, so Robbie and Sam would team up against Tori, and they would take her down. The police would still arrive, and they would still suspend everyone from the fight. The events of Cobra Kai would continue. Johnny would be disappointed in his students for starting the school fight, and Miguel and Tori would break up, and Danny would be proud of his students for stopping the fight, and Miyaido would continue to train. Eventually, Robbie would forgive Sam, and they would get back together. The rivalry between Cobra Kai and Miyaido would continue to grow. Johnny would continue training his students, and eventually, Chris would come back, and he would retake Cobra Kai. So Johnny would still form Eagle Fang in this timeline, and Miguel and a couple other students would go with him, but Tori and Hawk would stay in Cobra Kai. The three dojos would continue training separately, but Johnny would want to rebuild his relationship with Robbie and Chosen. Miguel wouldn't be on board with being friends with Robbie and Chosen, but he would see how much Johnny cared about them, so he would decide to give Miyaido a chance. So much like in the original timeline, Daniel and Johnny would still team up, so Eagle Fang and Miyaido would start training together, and Miguel and Sam would start to become friends again. The Miyaido Fang students would start training in both offense and defense. The events of Cobra Kai would continue. Kreese would hear that Johnny and Daniel had teamed up, so much like in the original timeline, Kreese would still get Terry Silver, and that is where I'm going to end part 3. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think would have happened if Young Chosen was in Cobra Kai? Let me know in the comments below. YouTube lets me know that the majority of you are not subscribed, so if you guys could subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.